Hi, I'm Tom Horn with AOPA Live. Here today at the Pendleton Airport in Pendleton, Ontario, Canada. It's the home of the Gatineau Gliding Club and also the home of the Cree Cree owned by David and Ronald Smith. They're here with us today to talk about their Cree Cree, which is the smallest twin engine airplane in the world and the only flying Cree Cree in all of Canada. Yes, uh, the size it surprises a lot of people, uh, um, definitely. Uh, as a pilot, you don't really notice it uh, when you're inside until you kind of focus on the wingtips when you're flying. And every, every once in a while, I'll, a wingtip will come in view, and I realize I can almost stick my hand out and reach the, the wingtip. and it's a small wingspan gives it a very high roll rate and uh, it rolls about 200 degrees a second so about a, a second and a half and you've done a complete, uh, a complete aileron roll. So uh, I think it's probably it's the strongest aerobatic point is definitely its, uh, its ability to fly inverted and, and its rapid roll rate. And it does nice wingovers. Uh, um, oh yes. Uh, it's, it's famous for doing turn and a half wingovers. You can do so by throttling the inboard engine and keeping the outboard at full power. David and I are a little bit worried from a structural point of view about attempting those. Uh, so we've restricted ourselves to conventional wingovers. But it does a very nice, you can go up and go right to slow speed and, and push sharply on the rider pedal and it goes around very nicely. It's a beautiful yeah. Yeah, wing yeah. over. And That's everything fine. feels very controlled. Uh, it's a, a nice handling. Had a number of engine problems with the airplane. Uh, most of them due to, to not appreciating how uh, delicate two cycles uh, engines are. Uh, on the first flights, uh, one engine came down, down to less than 50% power and, and uh, we discovered there that the airplane behaves very nicely, it, it performs uh, quite well. Uh, a, a short time after, we, we, I suffered a catastrophic failure, a head gasket let go on the engine just at the end of the runway was slipping underneath us. And, and having both had that partial power loss and having red material, I knew that the airplane climbed and, and sure enough it, it climbed perfectly nicely on, on one engine and so I did a, a circuit and came back and landed. 